Back in the day, Sam could fix anything. As a mechanic in Nam, there wasn't an engine Quick Start Sam couldn't make new again. But since losing his wife Helen and with his growing health problems, it's Sam who feels he needs fixing. And he doesn't have those tools. The RV Sam and Helen bought to travel the countryside is stuck in park, and most days so is Sam. At the urging of his family doc, Sam goes to see a mental health professional. After describing his symptoms, he's handed a prescription. Sam doesn't like taking more pills, but does as instructed. After a week, he doesn't notice much change, other than side effects he doesn't like. Feeling discouraged, he gives up on the pills and on hitting the open road anytime soon. There has to be a better way. Let's try this again. At his mental health appointment, Sam is greeted by a psychologist, Dr. Cynthia Cruz. She encourages him to call her Cindy. Cindy listens closely to Sam. Feeling supported, he expresses the grief and fear he feels from losing his wife and his declining health. Cindy connects with Sam's feelings and how hard it is when life takes an unexpected turn. Then Cindy asks Sam what his life would look like if treatment were successful. Sam sits back. No one's ever asked him this before. As he pictures this in his mind, he starts thinking maybe things could be different. Cindy next presents different treatment options for Sam to consider and notes that he's in the driver's seat. Wow, Sam thinks, usually I'm just told what to do. Sam says he doesn't want to take more pills or talk about his childhood 60 years ago. He is interested to hear about proven talk therapies that focus on the present and on teaching tools to get back to living again. He is a mechanic. He likes tools. As Sam considers different options, Cindy helps him identify specific treatment goals, overcome his grief while honoring Helen, be more connected to his grandkids, and help other vets. Finally, Sam and Cindy work together to choose a treatment that best fits Sam's preferences and goals. Putting it all together, Sam chooses to begin Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, or CBT, a proven talk therapy that's helped many vets like him. Sam now feels much more hopeful and prepared than when he first walked through the door. Looking at the two scenarios, which would you prefer? Though the provider in the first scene means well, all the talking and decision-making go in one direction. Sam doesn't feel heard or connected. His preferences don't inform the treatment decision. Not surprisingly, the treatment does not fit him. The scene with Sam and Cindy is different. The communication is two-way. Sam is clearly supported by Cindy, a caring and trusted guide. In the end though, Sam makes the decision about what's best for him. This scene is based on what's called shared decision-making. Shared means you and your provider work together as a team to make the best decision about treatment. The provider has valuable information about different treatments and how they work. And you are an expert on you, like what's important to you and what you hope to get out of treatment. Shared decision-making isn't new. It's been shown to be effective in other areas of healthcare and is now being used to help personalize mental health treatment. Not all mental health treatments are created equal or are equally best for everyone. The Sam and Cindy scene demonstrates a specific approach being used in many mental health treatment settings with veterans called the shared decision-making session. It's a straightforward six-step approach. Step one, connect. There's a feeling of connection here. You'll be understood and supported by someone who cares. Step two, motivate. By seeing how your life might be different with treatment, you'll feel more motivated. Step three, educate. Learn about different treatment options, how they work, and benefits and side effects. Step four, explore. 
Take time to consider what's important to you, your values, preferences, and opinions, so the treatment you select best matches you. Step five, set goals. What specifically do you want to get out of treatment? Step six, choose. In this final step, you'll choose a treatment option that's best for you and for achieving your goals. If you're wondering about Sam, he found treatment fit him like a mechanic's glove. He now has his tools and is successfully navigating old Route 66 and his life with Helen in his heart. Shared decision-making may just be the key to changing your life too. Learn more about shared decision-making, proven mental health treatments, and how to find help at Treatment Works for Vets.